So you want to become famous on social media. Well, maybe not Kim Kardashian style famous, but you want to get engagement on your posts. You want to be seen. You want your ideal customer to see your content and to raise their hand and say, yes, Lindsay, I want to hear more. Well, I am here to tell you my three-step strategy today on how to become a celebrity on social media, at least to the point that you're actually generating some profit from what you're doing on your Facebook profile. So if you are new to this channel, hi, I'm Lindsay Sewell, and I'm here to help you create leverage and time freedom in your business by creating content, by standing out online and unlocking your full potential. And today, we are going to talk about how to become quote unquote famous on social media. So if you like this type of content and you never want to miss a video, go ahead, hit the bell notification and subscribe to this channel so that you hear the next time we release a video. So what is this three step uh, strategy, Lindsay, to becoming famous on social media? This is what I implemented a couple years ago when I had 200 friends, no followers, and absolutely no influence and authority on social media but I wanted to be able to build a business online. I wanted to be able to sell my products and my services to my ideal clients and customers who needed what I had to offer. And so what did I do? Well, step number one, I started creating content and you can too. Creating content is as simple as creating something in a written form, an audio form or a video form, just like you're watching right here, that gives your ideal customer or client a solution to their problem. Things like how-to videos, tutorials, product reviews, even things that just inspire, educate, entertain them. Creating valuable content on social media will get you noticed, will get you more engagement, and will get people to want to share your content with new people who can turn into fans, and then you can turn your fans into your super fans. So after you create a piece of content, Lindsay, what's step number two? Well, step number two is that you don't let this content die. You don't let it go populate in your Facebook feed and then disappear 24 hours. You promote it everywhere. One of my mentors said to me, your content creation strategy should be 20% creation and 80% promotion. I was shocked and relieved because at the time I was spending hours and hours and hours every week working to create content everywhere. I was creating content on Facebook, on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on Twitter. I wasn't quite yet on YouTube yet, but I was creating it everywhere. I was doing videos on my profile, in groups, on my business page, and I was exhausted. And it felt like I could never keep up with the amount of content that I was creating. And that I always had to come up with something new. And it took a lot of time it took a lot of work and it took me away from my family and I don't want that for you. So I want to give you this solution in step number two, which is take your piece of content and promote it everywhere. So this may be a little different than what you've heard other people say about content and social media where they say, you know, pick your platform and stick to it. I honestly think you should have a presence on multiple platforms, but you don't need to be engaged on every single one every day. You can take your pillar content from your platform of choice and you can share that out to all your other platforms. So for instance, let's say we create a YouTube video like we're doing here. I can take this, promote it on Facebook. I could promote it in a Facebook story. I could do a post on Instagram or a short IGTV video that leads back to this video. 
What about an Instagram story? Could you take your YouTube video and get it transcribed and then post it on LinkedIn as an article? You can see that creating one piece of content can be quickly and easily promoted in multiple locations so that you are getting seen, you are being heard, and you are attracting your ideal clients and customers to you to make you famous on social media. What's the magic step number three after you create the content and you promote it everywhere? If you wanna become famous, if you wanna get known, if you want more followers, it's as simple as rinse and repeat. That's right, consistency in your content creation is critical. If you create a bunch of content one month and then you disappear for six months, people think you've been abducted by aliens. Oh, okay. Well, maybe not abducted by aliens, but they wonder where you have gone. And they wonder if you're reliable. And so consistency is so important if you are building an online business or any business at all. If you're going to use content to get seen, to be heard, to be known, to generate profits, then you need to be consistent. So step number three is rinse and repeat. Create the content, promote it all over, and then do it over and over and over again. Now, if you're hearing this and you think, Lindsay, this is a great idea, but how do I come up with content ideas for videos or posts? How do I even know what my ideal audience wants to hear? How do I know how to create a tutorial or a review or an educational video or an entertaining video for them around my products, my services? How do I get them to go from watching the content to actually raising their hand and saying that they wanna hear more about what I have for sale? I mean, is there a formula for this? And the answer is yes, and I'm gonna give it to you. I am so excited because I am launching a content to profits breakthrough free five-day challenge for you. We are kicking off February 3rd and for five days, I am going to answer all of those questions for you. I am going to eliminate content overwhelm. You'll never have that what do I post today problem ever again. I'm gonna give you the exact strategies to know exactly what your audience wants to hear and the secrets to getting them to raising their hand and saying, yes, tell me about it and pulling out their credit card to pay you for your products, your services, or maybe even join your team. I'm gonna give you my strategies to monetize your content. Yes, you can get paid to create content. So if this sounds like something you'd like to do to get famous on social media, create content, create more profits and breakthrough in your business, then go ahead, click the link below. We kick off on February 3rd. I wanna invite you to the challenge. You just click that link below, give me your email, I'll email you the workbook, the invitation to the Facebook group where everything is gonna happen and I'll share with you every single one of my secrets that took me from struggling in my business to becoming a known commodity on social media, creating content that created profit and turning my business into a success story. So go ahead, join the challenge and then head over to our next video where I am going to teach you three strategies to turning your content into profits now. I'll see you in the next video.